Hi, students. Um, we've been talking a lot about fractions on the number line. And I really want to make sure that we get this phrase here, this couple of words, it's area models. Okay, now we know what area is. Area, like a play area, it's just the area, it's a space. Okay, so this is a line, right? But if I make a square, the area is what's inside, okay? The area is what's inside. And when we've been talking about shapes, I've just been saying like, hey, here's a rectangle, okay? Um, but inside of this rectangle, we've got this space, okay? Now, just like we've been talking about, here's this thing that's divided up into different parts, equal parts, okay? I'm going to say it's cut up into equal parts. This is cut up into equal parts, okay? How many equal parts do we have? That's going to be our denominator, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight parts. And let's put the unit fraction in, okay? So unit fraction equals one eighth. One eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth. Here we are, lots of one eighths. I'm getting tired of writing this. Oh, there's so many. Okay. <clears throat> but because we've got a number line starting with zero, we're going to count these. And because this is one shape, we got one right here. Okay. I kind of like putting it up here. This is good. All right, because down here we can put the fraction. Up here we put the 1, right? That's the whole number, okay? So this is one whole shape. Let's go ahead and count these. So that's just 1. 1 eighth. Okay, here we go. 2 eighths. 3 eighths. 4 eighths. Five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. So eight eighths equals one because numerator and denominator are the same. Okay. The denominator and the numerator, they're the same. Okay. So then I know that I've got one. Oh boy. I just realized I'm cutting off part of this page. Let me adjust my fancy rig here. Okay. Now, each part, each part, that's pretty, pretty, that's a pretty good hint that we're showing one part. Okay? One part shows one eighth. Okay? That's the unit fraction. Okay? Each part is our unit fraction. So, write the missing labels on the number line under the area model then tell what each fraction oh uh, what fraction each part of the area model shows here we go this is another one one two three four five six that must mean that our denominator is gonna be six okay our denominator is gonna be six okay our unit fraction that each part shows 
is one sixth. One sixth. So I'm going to put all the denominators as six because the denominator's not gonna change. It's the numerator that's changing, and that's what we're counting. This is one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six sixths. Okay, and that equals one. And again, you can see the numerator and denominator are the same. Okay, now. Here's a question to think about. How did you decide what the denominator was in each problem? Okay. How did you decide what the denominator was in each problem? Um, and then down here it says, I think using an area model helps me label fractions on a number line because so how does using an area model help you label fractions on a number line okay now remember this shape here that's your area model how does it help you okay so boys and girls Leave your response on the Flipgrid. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave them in the comments below, okay?